me to sit in the witness box next to her for all four days so the media cameras will be directed toward her. I don't need any. What I have to say, this isn't worth the paper it's written on. A letter from Larry Nasser accusing Judge Rosemary Aquilina of inciting a media circus. Tonight, we're getting reaction to Larry Nasser's letter to the judge from the women he abused. Nasser said he was worried about his own mental state and his ability to handle another round of impact statements. That letter setting the tone before a third day of heart-wrenching testimony. The first survivor to take the stand, Olympic gymnast Jamie Dancher. She was one of the first women to come forward with allegations against Nasser in August of 2016. We caught up with her after she gave her testimony, and she had this to say about the letter Nasser wrote to the judge. Any way he can try to manipulate and take control of a situation, that's what he's still going to try to do. And, I mean, it was obviously laughable in there, you know. Nobody should have any sympathy for him. Another survivor speaking today, Christine Harrison, whose father is a law enforcement officer. He was seen a few times giving Nasser a very intense stare. She says this has not strained the relationship with her father like it has with other survivors and that she's not surprised about Nasser's letter. You know, this hasn't been easy for everyone. People have been depressed, suicidal, anxious, so this isn't his time to say that this is for himself. You know, it's about us today and the rest of the days. There seems to be strength in numbers with more victims coming forward today. We've learned that 105 survivors read their statements and that's up from 101 at the beginning of the day and up from 98 when this all started. Judge Aquilina believes it'll be Monday or Tuesday before she hands down the sentence. We will of course be there when it happens.